Okay, so welcome to another major topic, the topic of events on the CDI platform. Now, events are very powerful because they allow you to write applications such that different parts of the application can synchronize themselves with data from other parts of the application without any compile time dependencies amongst them. So think of reactive applications where something happens somewhere and then there is a part, another part of the application that gets updated with the data that happened here in real time. So X happens here and then something happens at Y. Data is passed between the two like that. So there is state synchronization without any compile time dependency. Everything wired together through the concept of Java EE events, CDI events. And using events in CDI on Java EE is very simple and very straight to the point. There are essentially just two things you need. Actually three, you need the event payload, which is the medium or the data that you'll be passing around. You need that one. And then you need the event uh, interface you're passing your payload to it. That is what you'll be using to fire the event. And then you need methods that will observe the specific event that will be fired by the event interface. So essentially, there are three. You need the payload, which is the medium you'll be transporting data between the different components. Then you need the event interface passing in the payload as a type. And then you need the methods that you'll be using to observe the, the the event that's all and then you will have highly decoupled event mechanism that you can use to build very powerful reactive applications on the java EE platform so let's take a look <laughs>